Hey guys, I'm Far Fars and I'm a DJ and music producer from Singapore. Hi guys, my name is Michelle. I am a beauty content creator in Singapore. Hi, I'm Elena and I'm in advertising. Hi, I'm Sophia Dandroff and I am a local actress in Singapore. And I'm here to review some Maison 21G perfumes. I feel like this is quite a common scent, to be honest. It's more on the fresher side, more citrusy side. It smells pretty florally. I feel like it's a smell that I won't really get sick of. Mm, okay, this smells really fresh. I feel like a guy who is very put together would wear a scent like this. A manly man wouldn't use this kind of fragrance. More of a fashionista. I think this is something like a man in his young 20s would opt for. Like he first started out trying perfume. It's something my gay best friend would use. Celebrity. I guess someone that's like really clean cut. He looks like he just got a fresh shave. Tom Hiddleton because I feel like he's very well put together. He's also British and I feel like he would enjoy tea and biscuits and this perfume. So yeah, definitely would be attracted to the scent. I like it. Ooh, so it takes a very quirky kind of person to wear this scent. It's different, very different from the first one. It's a little bit more woody. There's some orange in there, or something zesty, something fruity at least, like something citrusy. Quite musky, I feel like it's a little bit spicy. I think someone in the creative industry will wear this. Very unique. This perfume kind of reminds me of every playboy I've ever met. It smells like someone who's masculine, but at the same time, he's sweet. Very manly, very strong, that's not like afraid to get down in the dirt and get dirty and get messy. Someone walks past me with this scent, I would turn my head and be like, who's that? <laughs> so I would definitely recommend this to men out there if you want to get the lady. It kind of smells like like toilet paper, I'm being very honest. Okay, if it were to smell like toilet paper, I would think it would smell like branded toilet paper, like from Christian Louboutin kind of toilet paper. Very mild. It's a little bit musky. This doesn't come off as really strong. You can't easily point out that, okay, it's from you, but you can smell it, and that makes it very mysterious. If someone wears this, I wouldn't think it's really cologne. I would think it's like deodorant. Okay, this scent smells like this person has experienced life. That's why it smells very luxurious, very expensive. It really has a little bit of earning power. I think somebody in his late 30s to early 40s will wear this. Quiet and pretty reserved, but at the same time, he's proper and pristine. Doesn't really like a lot of attention. A very quiet guy. Mm, it's pretty strong smell. Yeah, oh my gosh, like, I feel like if a man were to walk into a store and wear this, I would be very attracted to this man. This reminds me of nature. I might have something that smells like this, so it smells like me. <laughs> I feel like the type of guy who would wear this is someone who is very confident, I don't know, very seductive. Like a man who likes to camp. Who's very confident. Who knows how to get down on it. Get down on it. <laughs> this smells like a scent that Ryan Reynolds wears. Going to a club, wearing this, and you know, because it's a bit on the stronger side. My kind of guy, adventurous, very spontaneous. He knows how to get the girl. Like, he knows that he smells good, and he knows that the ladies think he smells good, and I think he smells good. I don't know, maybe they need this perfume to get the girl. <laughs> so, of all the scents that I've reviewed, I really, really like scent four. Okay, scent two, scent two. Creative. Scent 4 is my favourite. I can imagine it on my partner. I feel like I will never get sick of it. Number 4 because it's something that I already have. You just can't go wrong with this scent. So my favourite scent is Scent 4 actually. So scent yeah. number 4 is the most original combination because it contains what we call in our black collection violet vintage. So we are using the leaves of the violet and it gives a, a green vintage feeling, like a bit of a, a Fahrenheit, I don't know if you remember. And we blend it with Havana, which is a tobacco scent, a bit lasery, ah. spicy. So it's quite bold. So that's the manly scent that I was mentioning. It's like, yeah. The beard, the scruff. The, the real macho. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so it's a very fresh and yeah. sexy scent at the mm. same time because the violet leaves bring the greenness, the freshness, and the tobacco bring 
the mystery, the sensuality, the spiciness yeah. in your mail. The so, playboy scent. Exactly. So this one you will get noticed if you wear it as yeah. a man. Okay, Joanna, my favorite scent is two. And I understand it's not the most popular choice. Can you explain to me why I might particularly like two? It's it's a, you have very exquisite taste. So scent number two is a mix between cashmere wood, which is a heart of vetiver, which is an iconic musk woody scent, and we put on top orange blossom. So orange blossom is the kind of flower that a man can wear because it's, it's clean and fresh and delicate. Mm. So it's a very distinctive uh, scent that will have a, a big sillage for you men. So I really like scent number one and number four, but scent number one, it's, it feels familiar. Like I've smelled it around quite a lot of times. You have a very good nose. So scent number one is a mix of Lavender mm. and vanilla tonkabin, which is a very classical structure. Yeah. It's, it's le mal. Yeah. It's fresh because of the lavender, the aromatic nut, and it's very sexy because of the mm. overdose of vanilla tonka, like very sweet nut. So a lot of guys wear that to go yeah. dancing, <laughs> okay. you know, to attract attention. And when you get close to him, he will smell a bit sweet, mm. a bit sexy. So yes, very sexy scent, but a bit already déjà vu, mm. as we say. Yeah, I feel like a lot of guys I know have worn that scent before. I really like number four and three. Can you tell me more about these scents? So you have very good taste because oh, scent wow. number three is one of the most expensive of the selection oh. because it contains oris, and oris is the uh, the noble ingredient of perfumery mm. takes three years to grow oris and it was a favorite scent of Louis XIV. Mm. Uh, you have a bit of oris like in the lipstick so it's a very delicate, mm. powdery, a bit leathery scent and it's really for an estate, you know, for a man which is quite discreet but mm -hmm. very elegant. Yeah, I love did I get that right? <laughs> Absolutely yeah. right, when you see how okay. it's very subtle and we twist it with a bit of sandalwood because we're supposed to create a sexy okay. scent today. Yeah. And you know, sandalwood is one of the most creamy woods for men. You know, vetiver is very mm. smoky and, and sandalwood, I don't know if you remember, we did a yeah. YouTube explaining it's an aphrodisiac scent also for men. So it's a beautiful combination between elegance and sensuality. Mm, sexy. Yeah. <laughs>